Oh, honey, I'm so terribly sorry. I was stuck in meetings and totally forgot to pick you up. Mom, I'm your daughter. How can you forget about me? Mom just ignored me and said, Thank you so much, Mrs. Arnstein, and sorry I kept you waiting so long. Hi, I'm Emma, and I want to grow up to be the world's best ballet dancer, but my crazy parents have made it really hard for me. We used to do a lot of things together, but they don't even come to see me perform anymore. Dad is almost always out of town on business. Mom's usually poring over work files till late at night. The next day, I had a really big performance. I was the star of the show. As my name was called and I received a standing ovation, I looked up and searched for my mom's face in the crowd, but I couldn't see her anywhere. Yeah, no surprise. I wish you could see how good I'd become. Mom had asked my friend's mom to drop me home. I walked into an empty house and found a note on the kitchen table. I'm sorry I couldn't make it, sweetheart. I had a very important meeting. I'm sure you were amazing, Mom. Yeah. Thanks for the support, Mom. The day after, at school, my teacher walked up to me and told me to go to the principal's office. To my horror, the principal told me that my mom was in a coma. She was completely fine this morning. How had my life changed so much in a couple of hours? Fiona, my mom's friend, said she was showing no signs of improvement, and all we could do was take her back home and pray for a miracle. She would come around for a daily checkup and we got a nurse. Dad told me to focus on school, but it's not like things were great there either. Miley, the most popular girl in my class, just seemed to hate me for some reason. She was always making comments about how stupid being a ballet dancer was. Who even watches ballet these days? My grandma, probably. Or something like, Aw, why aren't you wearing your silly tutu today? It matches your lame personality. Jeez, I don't even know how Brian could be with someone like her. I went to the game to distract myself from everything happening at home. And just my luck, the only empty seat was next to Brian. You can't sit here. This seat's taken. It's for my popcorn. Don't be silly, babe. It's all yours, Emma. I tried to focus on the game and ignore how Miley was just all over him. But then suddenly, I saw the faces on the big screen. It was me and Brian. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Brian turned to me, looking a bit uncertain, but I wasn't letting this moment pass. Let's give the people what they want, Brian. I pulled him in close and gave him a long, steamy kiss and the crowd cheered and clapped, and it felt like something straight out of a rom-com. When we broke apart, I saw Miley's face. Oh boy. She stepped closer to me and threw her entire soda in my face. You'll pay for that, Emma. Oh, I know, Miley, but it was totally worth it. When I got home, Dad walked into my room. I saw a couple of suitcases behind him. Seriously? You're off having fun watching games while your mom's a vegetable, and I'm left to deal with this all day? I was about to deny it, but I realized I was still wearing that stupid baseball cap. Just leave me alone, Dad. Listen, I need to tell you something. I, I met this woman a couple of years ago. I'm in love with her, Em. I can't live without her. And she won't wait anymore, so I have to go. What? And you can live without me and Mom? H how could you even just leave us like this? I'm sorry. And like that, he was gone. As I sat next to Mom's bed that night, I felt really blue. So I started watching a video on my favorite channel, My Story Animated. It was about a girl whose mom woke up from a coma after 15 years to get revenge. I really hoped my mom would wake up much sooner. Before I could watch part two, I suddenly saw mom's hand move. Mom? Mom, she asked me what had happened and where dad was. I quickly lied that he had to go away for work and called up Fiona. She was amazed to see mom's miraculous recovery. As I walked away to my room, I wondered how I could possibly break the truth to mom. Sweetie, how long did dad say he'd be away? Most of his stuff is gone. When I went to her room, I could see mom going through the empty closet and drawers. Shouldn't you be in bed, mom? I feel just fine. Where did dad go, Emma? She sat down on the bed in a trance as I told her what had happened. Finally, she spoke, get out. She slammed the door behind me and I heard her screaming and breaking things. A little while later, I saw her run out of her room, grab her car keys and leave the house. It looked like a tornado had hit her room. It was bad enough watching mom cry herself to sleep on the couch every night, but my life was about to get so much worse. The next day at school, I could just feel people looking at me and whispering. I soon discovered why. There were posters of me and Brian kissing at the game everywhere, but that wasn't all. Girls, hide your boys, hide your men. The ugly-footed ballerina is after them. OMG, 
She had stepped way over the line. She wasn't going to get away with this. I couldn't even be here right now. I picked up my bag and headed home. I needed to cool off and plan my revenge. Wow, mom wasn't on the couch. I found her in her room, packing all her things. What are you doing, mom? Can't you see? Go pack your stuff too. We're leaving town. I can't bear to be in this house anymore. My head was spinning. I've asked my firm to give me a job transfer, and they've agreed. And don't you dare tell your dad anything. I don't want to see him till the day I die. My parents didn't care how their choices affected my life. It was so easy for dad to leave me. And it was so easy for mom to make me leave my home, my school, my friends, ballet, everything. I hated them both. One day, mom called me to her room and handed me a letter. I enrolled you in ballet class before we even moved here. This place has a great dance academy. I don't want you to give up on your dream, Em. I burst into tears and hugged her tight. Tying my shoes, I felt my heart race with joy. This was my happy place. The teacher asked me to perform a segment from the famous Swan Lake so she could judge my skill level. I knew that one well. As the music started, I was transported to another world. When I stopped dancing, I saw everyone's mouths were open wide. The teacher stood in shock before she started clapping and the rest followed. She said I was amazing and that she would be so honored to teach me. Suddenly, I found myself falling flat on my face. I looked up to see a girl who had introduced herself as Angela, smiling down on me and lending a hand. As she pulled me up, she whispered in my ear, I'm the best here. Don't even think of messing anything up for me. I was shocked. Had this psycho just tripped me? She'd looked so nice, but she sounded crazy. I couldn't wait to tell Josh all about it on our date tonight. I'd had a crush on Josh and his dimples almost right after we'd moved here. And he'd just walked up to me the other day and asked if I'd go to watch a movie with him. Just as I was having one final look at myself in the mirror, I heard the door open downstairs and mom was talking to Josh. Sorry, wrong house. My daughter isn't allowed to date boys. Before I could even get a word in, she had slammed the door in his face. Mom, are you crazy? Are you stupid? Don't you know all boys are jerks who will dump you as soon as they see another pretty thing walking by? Josh isn't like that. Oh, that's what I thought about your dad. They're all like that, sweetheart. You're better off dating girls, really. I don't like girls. I don't care. You're grounded. And this was basically my dating life for the next few years. It involved a lot of sneaking out and getting my best friend Stacy to cover for me. Mom was hard to shake off though. She turned up to my last date and told my boyfriend that I was a gold digger who was only dating him because he was rich. My prom date backed out at the last minute because apparently mom had told him that I was gay. I had to do well at my audition. That was the only way I was getting a dance scholarship and my ticket out of here. As I fastened my shoes and got up to leave, I found that the dressing room door was locked. OMG, the judges were waiting for me outside. I screamed and banged on the door like a crazy person. And luckily, a janitor heard me and let me out. I went running to the stage, and those faces did not look happy that I'd kept them waiting. My heart was pounding, but I started to feel calm as the music started. I could do this. I poured my heart and soul into it. I made the perfect jump, and then suddenly, the music died. I looked around in horror. This couldn't be happening. I saw Angela sitting at the back of the theater. Miss, we don't have time for this. We're all familiar with that piece. Can you just continue without the music? I closed my eyes for a few seconds. All I could see was my dad leaving and my mom crying and Miley's posters and Angela's smirk. I'd worked too hard and long to let anything stop me now. I breathed out and nodded. I could do this. When I was done, I just covered my face with my hands. Suddenly, I heard clapping and saw all four judges standing up, smiling at me. Was I dreaming? Just then, Angela came running to the front and started screaming and tearing the judges' score sheets. I got the scholarship to the dance school of my dreams. It was so good to see mom so happy and finally proud of me. Stacy and I were cycling one summer morning when a car came speeding right at us. We quickly swerved and it missed us, but I fell down and the cycle on me. Ow, Stacy, my ankle really hurts. She stopped a car and we hitched a ride to the hospital. My ankle was swelling up and I was freaking out. Just then a doctor walked in. So, what do we have here? I looked up and instantly forgot my words because the doctor was so handsome. Uh, the cycle fell. I mean, I, f I fell, the cycle fell on me and, and something happened to um my, 
my ankle. He smiled and inspected my foot. I was pretty sure he could feel my pulse through it. It looks like a pretty bad sprain. I'm going to need you to come and see me again in a week. Why are your toes bruised? I'm a ballet dancer. He looked really intrigued. He said he absolutely loved ballet, and we started talking about our favorite performances. Obviously, mom was great at wrecking all signs of happiness. She went berserk when I made it back home and showed her my ankle. The doctor said it's going to be just fine, mom. Before I knew it, James had asked me out, and I was over the moon. I found myself falling in love with him at a dangerous pace. But one day, I got a call from Fiona, and she told me my mom was in a coma again. No, 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 this couldn't be happening. James rushed over as soon as I texted him. Babe, I've been trying to call you for days. Was your mom unwell all this time? I wiped my tears away and exhaled. Oh boy, here goes. That's not why I didn't answer. James, I'm pregnant. You're what? We both turned around in shock to see mom sitting up, looking like she was having a heart attack. What on earth, mom? I knew something was up and I had to find out. I was right, you idiot. You've got my daughter pregnant? Mom, no, wait, you faked a coma? What about all those years ago? That was to deal with another piece of garbage. I heard him talking to that woman and saying he was going to leave me. As I stood there in shock, James looked at me and said he would talk to me later. No, you come back here. But before mom could even get up, James was long gone. I couldn't even look at her. She didn't even care about what she and dad had put me through. And she was still doing it. When I went back home in the evening, the last thing I wanted to do was deal with mom. So, what is the doctor prescribed now? He says he's too young and has his career to think about. He can't take responsibility for a child. He broke up with me. Mom stood furious. His career? His career? And what about yours, huh? What about your ballet? I warned you and I told you again and again. For once, Mom, just shut up. There was a stunned silence. Do you care at all about how I feel? Or do you just care about being right? Well, congratulations, Mom, you're right. All men are evil and now I'm heartbroken and I'm having a baby all alone and I'll never do ballet again. Suddenly, I felt Mom pull me into a hug. No, you're going to that school. We will defer your admission by a year. But, but what about the baby? I'll raise the baby while you're away. You're not giving up after all your hard work. You're going to make me and your child really proud. Fast forward nine months and I had a beautiful baby girl, Ella. I couldn't get over how perfect she was. I cried as I sat in my dorm hundreds of miles away. This was harder than I'd ever thought it would be. Would she hate me for leaving her? I just had to pull myself together. I wanted my daughter to know one day that I'd tried my best to be everything I could possibly be. Break a leg, babe. Kevin kissed me on the cheek minutes before I went onto the stage. We'd met a year ago on the set of a ballet show. He had recently asked me to marry him, and of course, I'd said yes. He was my best friend, and I couldn't wait to introduce him to Mom and Ella. A few months later, I was back home with Kevin, and we were discussing our plans to move to New York. I had landed a role in a major ballet production. Come with us, Mom. I'm happy here, sweetheart. But I can't wait to come and see you. Just then, there was a knock at the door. I froze in shock. James, what the heck are you doing here? Emma, I've missed you so much. What's going on here? You! James' eyes froze on Ella. Is that my baby girl? I was furious. How dare he? Listen, Emma, I made a mistake. I promise I will make it up to you. And we can be a family. Get out of my house? and my life, James. I'm getting married, and I will never let you be a part of Ella's life. You didn't deserve me, and you certainly don't deserve her. James looked furious, but he turned around abruptly and left. That felt so good. I moved to New York with my family and gained fame quickly. The president himself came to see me at the opening of my latest show, and he asked to meet me later. I was stunned when he said he would be honored if I represented my country in the Olympics. I travel all over the world now, thanks to my amazing husband and mom, who've supported me all these years, and Ella couldn't be prouder of her mom. I can't wait to see the amazing person she grows up to be and the things she does, and I will always support her.